Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management Configure Amazon Web Services Groups video. In this video, I'll create an Amazon Web Services Group in Unified Service Manager using tags defined in the Amazon Web Services EC2 Management Console. In this scenario, I need to create a group of Apache instances that are used for general product demonstrations. This will allow me to monitor the status of a specific group of Amazon Web Services instances in Unified Service Manager. I'll resolve this issue by using the tags I have already defined for my Amazon Web Services instances to create a group in Unified Service Manager. Be aware that in this scenario, I have already installed and configured the AWS probe. The probe must be successfully installed and configured so that information from my Amazon Web Services cloud environment is available in Unified Service Manager. Here is a view of my Amazon Web Services EC2 Management Console. Notice that I have selected an instance with some predefined Amazon Web Services Management Console tags. I will create a group using the tags I have defined for application and demo type. I have the value Apache for the application key and the value general for the demo type key. Here I have already logged into CA Unified Infrastructure Management. I already have a container group for my Amazon Web Services groups, but I need a specific group that contains my Apache instances for general product demonstrations. I need to create this group. I click Actions, Add Group. I can now define the properties for my new group. The first choice I must make is to decide what type of group I want to create. I expand the group type list to view my options. The choices are container, dynamic, and static. The container group type can only contain other groups. I want my group to contain information about various web services instances, so this option is not a valid choice for my scenario. Both the dynamic and static groups can contain information about systems. The systems in dynamic groups are updated automatically, while the systems in a static group are not. Considering the flexibility of an Amazon Web Services environment, the dynamic group type is the most suitable for my needs. So I select the dynamic group type. I must now define the type of group members. I expand the member type list to view my options. The choices are system, an interface. I select system because my Amazon Web Server instances are not networking devices. And I change the group name to demo group. I do not need to define any account contact users for this group, so I leave the account field set to no account. I now need to define the filters for my Amazon Web Services group. I expand the filters name list to view my options. This list contains various predefined options for filtering groups. Because I want to filter my group members based on my Amazon Web Services Management Console tags, I select Advanced. This option displays the Attribute List icon. I click this icon to display a list of attributes. Remember, the keys defined for the Amazon Web Services Management Console tags I want to filter on are called Application and Demo Type. When the Amazon Web Services Management Console tag information is added to Unified Service Manager, the prefix user prop is added to the key name. So the attribute name for the demo type key would be user prop dot demo type. I scroll through the list and select the user prop dot demo type attribute. The filter operator is already set to is, so I only need to enter a value. The value for the demo type key is general, so I enter that as my value. I still need to add a second filter to define the application. I click the Add Filter button. I now need to add the filter parameters for the application key I defined in the Amazon Web Services Management Console tags. The value for the application key is Apache. Here I've already completed the required information for the filter. The attribute is userprop.application and the value is Apache. My filter information is now complete. I can now select Apply Filters. The Amazon Web Services instances that match my filter criteria are added to my Unified Service Manager group. I can now click OK to create my group. 
Here you can see my demo group in Unified Service Manager. If I click the group, I can see all the Amazon Web Services instances that were added. I will now need to check that my filters are working correctly. Here I have returned to the Amazon Web Services EC2 Management Console. You can see that this instance has the application and demo type keys. If I return to Unified Service Manager, you can see this instance here in my group. If I select another system in the Management Console, you can see I have the same keys defined here as well. This system also appears in my Unified Service Manager group. Notice that this system is missing the demo type key. If you look through this list, you can see that this system was not added to my Unified Service Manager group. For additional information about Unified Service Manager groups, refer to the documentation on the CA DocOps platform. Or visit the CA UAM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.